Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here. Welcome back with more Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past. And we're in the we're in the present though, and we're here we are at the Institute, and we can see that there is indeed a fragment here. First, let's check out over here. Oh, there's our fragment. A red fragment, okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Smashy smashy. Smashy, smashy. Smashy! Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Intimidatingly thick books. Hmm. Nothing? There we go. No response from Master Received. No movement detected. Soup temperature critically low. Commencing reheating procedure. Oh. Autonomous died long ago, but this robot doesn't quite realize that and keeps reheating soup for him. Now we got a hairband. I don't know if that's useful at this point. Let me take a look. It's not. Alright. There's no response, it's just a skeleton. Must administer hot soup. Soup will ensure revival. Mm, yeah. Humans don't work that way. Hello, oh, what are we have here? Oh, you're not aware that it is strictly forbidden to enter this place. Well, we can't very well help it for the old traveler wanders in by mistake, I suppose. I shan't make a fuss this once. And besides, I wouldn't be surprised if old Ambrose put you up to it anyway. You should listen to him, you know. Now be a good fellow and stand aside. We wouldn't want Ambrose to end yourself to be inconvenienced for obstructing the crown now, would we? Quickly, before I lose my unflappable royal rag. So it's true. An actual mechanical man, as I live and breathe. And it appears to be fully operational. I can scarcely believe it. Marvelous, just marvelous. This perfectly preserved specimen will be an incalculable boon to our research. Guards, escort our clockwork friend back to the castle without delay. Under no circumstances are you to man Andaline. Is that clear? This is a national treasure of the First Order. Yes, Your Majesty. Now, my dear, there's no need to be frightened. Come along, and we'll take you somewhere nice. Master, motionless, must administer soup. Soup will ensure revival. Soup, you say? Well, if it's soup, you're after we bunches of the stuff up at the castle. Come along now, follow me. Fresh soup required. Possible source identified. Investigating. So this is the man behind it all, the visionary, the mechanical genius himself. I hope you'll not object to us building on your achievements. Truly, we'll be standing on the shoulders of a giant. So it seems some light is finally to be shed on the mystery of all those blank centuries. You are present in an epical moment in our ki kingdom's history. But time waits for no man, and it is my task to fire up the engines of progress. A brighter future for mankind glimmers on the horizon. We must set our sights on reaching it. Alright. Alright, I think, um... We go back and talk to Ambrose now. <laughs> Actually, you might want to talk to the king and then Ambrose. Yeah, I think Ambrose gets himself in trouble, if I remember correctly. And we gotta help him out. There we go. 
Now let's begin, shall we? Yes, let's get started. Now we believe this flange protuberance here is what enables the contraption to stand on its own two feet. Shall we try detaching it and see? In the interest of science, of course. Certainly, I don't see why not. You really shouldn't have done that, brr. Your Majesty, I must ask you to call a halt to this arbit barbarity immediately. You must allow Ellie to return home. Ellie, eh? So the contraption has a name, does she, Ambrose? How very interesting. I've had the feeling for a while now that you know rather more than you've been letting on. It was the only thing I could do, think of, that would explain why you were quite so agitated about a little expedition. Ever so sorry, but you leave me little choice. Call the guards. But your... I mean, yes, your majesty. At once. Guards! Guards! Yes, your majesty. Escort Ambrose to the dungeon, will you? Ambrose, your majesty? Truly not, your majesty. That's what I fucking said, ain't it? <laughs> Are you questioning the orders of your king, man? You heard me. Throw him in the dungeon this instant. Much as it pains me to do this, Ambrose, I'm afraid it must be done. You will languish while in my pleasure. We must learn the secrets of the mechanical man as quickly as we're able and without interruption. As to what matter of vital information you've been holding back, I will discuss that with you later. Now take them away. Yes, your majesty. Ever so sorry, Ambrose, old man, but if you wouldn't mind coming with us. Not at all. You're only doing your duty, shall we? Guards, one moment. There won't be any need to lock them in. Let's not make this any uglier than it has to be, hmm? Yes, your majesty. With this plucky old girl to guide us, we'll have ourselves a fully automated human, human being of our own in no time flat. And the quicker we manage it, the happier the king will be. Oh, I get shivers down my spine just looking at the feet of engineering, you know. It's just the most extraordinary find, a real boon to science. Marvellous, quite marvellous in a way, almost too marvellous. Surely our ancestors possibly couldn't possibly have constructed such an intricate machine without some outside assistance. An important component has been moved, and Ellie's unable to stand. She looks almost sad. His Majesty clearly has much on his mind. I'm afraid Ambrose will just have to be patient while we see how matters unfold. Give him the choice, I'd rather you hadn't witnessed that little scene just now. But Ambrose has been hiding something from me, and that will not do. In any case, that's not important just now. What's important is that we hold the very future in our hands. The sun has risen on a new era in the king history of our kingdom. Nay, our world. The construction of fully automated human humanoid helpers will bring joy to all, and ensure a future of comfort and ease. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's in the dungeons. Okay. Excuse me. Which I believe is on this side. Yep. Ambrose is through there. If you want to see him be my ghost, the door's not locked. I was ordered to make sure he didn't leave, but I certainly wasn't told to forbid him from receiving visitors. And I could only follow the orders of giving. What? Who? Oh. I'm most awfully sorry. I really never should have dragged you all into this. But now that you're involved, I'm afraid you've, you, you're my only hope. Could I possibly trouble you for one last favour? Yep. Thanks ever so much. I appreciate it. I really do. Now, the truth of the matter is that Ellie up there was created by an ancestor of mine. A fellow by the name of Autonomous. So since he had, an, uh, since he had descendants, you know he moved on at one point the poor girl wasn't able well actually it could have been his brothers you know but whatever the poor girl wasn't able to get her hand at around the fact that he'd passed away and, <coughs> and he's been doing her best to continue looking after him for all these centuries since his demise when i first saw her out and understood what was going on i made a solemn vow never to allow her routine to be disturbed which is why you have to help me we must get dear old ellie back home where she belongs now she won't be going anywhere, unless we can get her back on our feet. And without the vital component those meddling nincompoops removed, this is not going to happen. As luck would have it, I have a spare pot back in Frobisher that might do the trick. It's called a Globular pist Pistatron. And with a little rejiggering, it should do just the ticket. I wonder if you'd be so kind as to fetch it for me. My granddaughter will be able to tell you where it is, and, um, keep it under your hat. That's a good lad. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, where am I going? Actually, you know what? Since I'm going to Frobisher anyway, I'll step outside and use Zoom. Oh, I haven't been to Frobisher? No, I have. How come it's not? I see Faraday Castle. It's weird that it's not a Zoom point. All right, well, I guess I'll head there the long way. Hmm. It's weird that it's not a Zoom point because I definitely went there. All right. Um I believe she his granddaughter it was somewhere over here, I believe. No. God, where was his granddaughter? Not there for sure. Actually, probably in the barracks. No. God, where was that little girl? It it wasn't exactly that long ago that I uh, <laughs> saw her and Ambrose. Hmm. I don't remember where she is. Alright, let me check in here. Might be in here, actually, now that I think of it. Yep, there she is. Harold! Grandfather went to the castle an awfully long time ago, and he's still not back. What's that? You saw him, and he told you to get his special spare pot? What special spare pot could that be, I wonder? I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest. Wait, silly, you mean his super special buried treasure, don't you? Of course I know where that is. It's in the extra secret place that only we know about. He told me to remember it just in case he forgot. It's under the barrel near the stream. Just try digging there and you'll find it. But remember, it's a secret. Alright. I know what she's talking about. Okay. Ironically, now I have to come back here. Not in the barrel, but under the barrel. Smashy, smashy. There it is. The globular pistatron. Oh, you old pistatron. Better to be pistatron than pissed off, it is. Alright. Alright. Let me go over to Faraday Castle. Yeet! Yeah. But father, I don't understand. All in the blue places is you flagrantly contradict his majesty's wishes. Because, Theodore, dear boy, those two poor lost souls deserve to be left in peace. It's about decency, pure and simple. That's all well and good, but you must understand that things have changed and... Oh, it's you lot. 
Listen, Father, I understand how you feel, but you mustn't meddle in this matter anymore. Is that clear? Thank you for humoring my father. I'm glad someone was able to help him get his point across. I must confess having rather mixed emotions about this old Ellie business myself. But my job is to serve the king, and I must have faith that he knows what he's doing. Oh, so you brought me what I asked for. Capital stuff. This is splendid. There's nothing you can't fix with Globular Pistotron. I can get Ellie back on her feet in no time. Oster hands Ambrose the Globular Pistotron. I would imagine they've taken Ellie to the laboratory near the castle's main entrance. There's not a moment to lose. We must go and help poor Ellie. I'm ever so sorry, Ambrose, but where exactly do you think you're going? If you go running around the castle dressed like that, they'll nab you right away. Here, take my clobber. The guard changes out his uniform and offers it to Ambrose. Well, it'd be rude to refuse such a kind offer, I suppose. Thanks awfully. Oh, you don't scrub up too badly, Ambrose. You look you don't look a day over 25. Also, you'll sweat somehow. But you should probably be getting along. Now, I should really be thanking you for all you've done for letting me be on your way. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to help me one last time, shall we? Ambrose joins the party. But not really, he's just a guest. Coming along for a brief time. Okay. Uh, yep, this way. There we are. Oh, perfect timing. You couldn't have come at a better moment. I was just thinking that if I didn't eat soon, I'd kill over and expire. My colleagues have all gone off somewhere, you see, and apparently aren't inclined to come back anytime soon. I hate to ask, but I'd be ever so grateful if you'd hold the fort here while I go eat something. Toodaloo. By Joe Fairley, what have they done to you, old girl? Well, not to worry, we're here to help. Hmm, yes, they're grubbing mitts all over you, haven't they? But we'll soon have you fixed up. Hmm. Now, this ought to get you back on your feet. Whisper beep. Soup temperature critically low. Must locate master. Searching. Master located. Master must return to bed. Master is critically ill. Hold on a blessed minute, you've got the wrong end of the stick, old girl. I'm not your master, you silly thing, that's held autonomous. Master is critically ill, must return to bed, must consume soup. Listen, Ellie, you're all at sixes and sevens here, my dear girl. I'm really not who you think I am. Ellie, I really must insist that you stop this at once. Your master is not here. Busted. Did I not expressly forbid you to leave the dungeon, Ambrose? What in heaven's name do you think you're doing here? Master is critically ill, must return to bed, must consume soup. Ambrose is in danger, by golly. The rotten thing's about to clobber him. Not if I could barely well help it. Oh wait, God, stand down. It's not attacking him, dash it all, can't you hear? Stand down, I say. Bzz, bzz, tss. Ellie, Ellie, can you hear me, old girl? Ellie. Oh, no, no, damn it. You smashed the blasted thing to pieces. Ambrose, forgive me, are you hurt? Ellie, oh girl. Your mechanical friend here was not trying to attack you. I think we both know that. Yes, your highness. It seems that being old and somewhat worse for wear, it mistook you for the master it served so faithfully for so many years. I owe you an apology, Ambrose. I see now why you fought the, fought the poor creature's corner so fiercely. 
This machine, no, this is no machine, that much is clear. This faithful servant has far more to teach us about dedication and selfish love while alive than its corpse should ever teach us about the mysteries and mechanics. Ambrose, can you repair her? Can you restore her to health? Yes, your highness, I should think so. Very well. Guards, I want you to carry her back to her home without delay. Yes, your majesty. Now that all have done the trick. Come on, um, go. See if you can stand. Werbs beep. Master confirmed asleep. Must administer hot soup. Soup will ensure revival. It seems things are bucked the way they were. I owe all of you an apology. Ambrose, you, mu you most of all. If the blind pursuit of my dream, I was all oblivious to the heartache that my actions might cause to others. Which is not to say the girls were mistaken, I might add. Though I agree that Ellie must be left in peace, I remain committed to creating fully functioning bipedal mechanoids. And we shall do so not at the expense of others, but through our own hard work and dedication. Who knows, Ellie? We may have a new companion for you before too long. I only hope we eventually build will have half the heart you've shown all. <laughs> oh. mm. I really can't thank you enough, you know. There you were, just passing through, and I coll collared you and dragged you into this whole solid sorry affair. But I shouldn't have. But I couldn't have done it without you. I'd very much like you to visit me in my house before you go. If you have the time, of course. Thanks, really. You've been an absolute bricks, every last one of you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well then, Ellie, old girl. Looks like all's well that ends, really. You'll be left in peace now, unless I'm very much mistaken. We have all this to a plucky band of travellers, of course. I know that you're saying thank you in there somewhere. And I'm sure they know it too, <laughs> All right, back to the castle. It is weird that um, the town isn't a zoom point, but I suppose with these islands being kind of smallish. Oh, yeah. Actually, we want to go to Frobisher, but um, I cut down some time. One zoom point per island is probably more than sufficient. Especially being in the present where there's really no enemies in the overworld, you know. Wait, what am I doing? I'm walking right by it. I was about to go to the fucking Fountain of Piety. or And you can see there is now a uh, alert there on the lower screen that there is a uh, fragment. Of course, Ambrose is just going to give that to us. Ah, so you came. Splendid. Well, do make yourselves at home. Everything has worked out perfectly, and Ellie is back where she belongs, tending to her beloved master. I wouldn't have been able to do it without your help, you know? Without your assistance, I don't think King Faraday would have ever seen the light. Thanks so much. I'll never forget all you've done for me, and for all of us. Hmm. Maybe I talk to the little girl, maybe she gives it. Alright, my grandfather said I was a very good girl for doing what I was told and telling you where the treasure was. After you left, I wanted to see if there was any more buried treasure nearby. So I did a spot of digging to see what I could find. But all I could find was this funny old stone thingy. I've thought guess what to do with it. Oh, I know, here, it's for you, it's a present. It's a red one, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, I can't believe you let me trick you to taking that funny old dirty old stone thing off me. Well, never mind. You can always throw it away. Okay, the the pool of... Uh, not fountain, I think it's called the Pool of Piety. We're just going to visit it, especially since, um... If you look, that whole section is still grayed out on the map, so... Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there's really anything I can do here just yet. But we'll check it out. Meow. Sealed with mysterious power. Yeah, I don't believe I can actually do anything here yet. Disney eternity, I'll avoid it. The light which eliminated these lines has long since been extinguished. And still I await. But I have faith that all is not in vain. Aye. One day my duty shall be fulfilled. I have faith that the ruins in which the Almighty sleeps shall one day be discovered. Aye. When the sacred stone spoken of legend is brought here, I shall know that it is time. Mm hmm. Little bit of story there. And I don't really think there's much else going on. I can check for treasure chests. I don't think there are any on this side, but I'm just going to look around real quick. I mean, that would be a primo spot for one, but there clearly isn't. We're going to go to Emberdale, too. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Mm. Yep, nothing going on here. Okay, cool. Let me uh, go ahead and zoom over to Emberdale. And there's a reason I'm coming here. Um, which one is it? Is it this one? No, that's the church. Mm. Yeah. It don't seem... Oh. Oh, God. It don't seem right to have a fancy place like this here in Amberdale. Still, it says, drink so I mustn't grumble. No. Dance, ward, dance, yeah, dance, dance, dance. Get a load of me moves. I'm what stuff me. I don't remember the accent. Gah, I don't half on here. I'm melting, I sweat. If only I can find a cool spot with a nice fresh breeze. Tell about Cory Carrier's community building initiative, yeah. Gah, nah, it sounds like a place I could live. It sounds a darn sight cooler than this hot spot anyway. The name's Goldilon. Go Goildon. I won't be super cool to see you again once I reach my new home. I'll give you something to say thanks. All right. All right, and then over to the Haven. Mm -hmm. Uh, he might actually be in the bar. Yeah, there he is. Ah, oh, it's you, the ones who told me about this place. We like couldn't take the heat, so I go out of the kitchen. Ah, oh, that's the best thing I ever did. This breeze is a lifesaver. Yeah, let me give you a little something to say thank you. And you get the Demon's Dome tablet. I picked up this old tasty tidbit of information on my travels, you know. For example, on the way here, I came across a young man that was desperate to find a place where he could sing at the top of his lungs. Last I heard, he was on his way to some town full of machines or something. Alright, let's make use of that. And we can't actually recruit that guy yet, so... Alright. So, place a traveler's tablet. That's... Here, Demon's Dome. Alright, let's do it. Baby Goyles. Nice. Ow. Dick. Now, stop doing crack, sir. All right, three more baby goyles. 
Oh, nice crit. I could use you and shit you, yeah. Wait, not that way. I know the layout of this place, come on. Alright, four of the bitches. Oof. Yow, you didn't crack. Good night, sleep tight, you white. Alright. And somebody's leveling. That would be rough hitting level 13, and you learn Call of the Wild. Oop. Smashy, smashy. Four dollars. All right, three baby goyles and one baby goyle. Let's try that call of the wild. Let's see. All right, that's cool. I'm going to go a little extra long just to finish this up and get to the shrine. Because this is going to be it for today. i got a stream coming up that i got to do in like 20 minutes. So. Oh, look where I am now. Anything over here? Strong medicine. Okay. Oh, there's the boss. Alright, let me just do that. Let's do it! He's too big. <laughs> Ow. He's got high defense. Not so much anymore, but... Let's t yeah, let's do that, actually. They got a hard-on for Oster? Jesus. No. Didn't work. Damn. Boom. All right. Jesus. I'm going to have to have him heal himself because he has mid heal. Oh my god, it won't attack anything but Auster. Ah, right, he's done. Maribel acquires the Super Seed of Wisdom. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Alright, cool. All right, let's zoom over to Shrine of Mysteries. See, yeah, the, the main island has three zoom points. I know it's a bigger island, but it's still weird because it has Shrine of Mysteries, Estrid Castle, and Pilchard Bay. All right, let's we'll get our fragments in and then we'll stop. All right, so yep, we're gonna do the red one. And I guess this one here. Oh, I don't? Hmm. Maybe this. Nope, not that one. Yeah, I know not that one. I was going to go for the bottom left. There we go. N no? What? Okay. Try the big one. I knew it was one of these. Uh, Don't tell me it just crashed out on me, did it? Oh no. It's been a while since I've saved too. 
Okay, well, I mean, simulation for you. Uh, I'll have to redo a bunch of stuff, obviously. Nothing too bad, but um, all right, I'm going to stop here, obviously. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest Seven. Hopefully, I can get this fixed. We'll figure it out.